what's up guys as you can see it snowed and packed the snow on around the trailer but what I want to work on is getting these um, sides trimmed welded in and getting some some hinges cut to fit these I'm gonna use these um, these gate latches they're from Harbor Freight I guess they don't make them anymore which is a shame these were three dollars each I think from Harbor Freight the only replacements I can find online are a lot more than that so I guess I'll get to work in this project for a little trip to the river. And Charlie's excited to swim. Come here. Come up here. Up. <laughs> Charlie. He's excited. The kids are excited. So it's a rare 60 degree day in December. Although it don't seem quite so rare this year. But we're getting ready to head off in the truck and head down to the Shenandoah. All right, I'm back here looking at this project. The welds on this thing are atrocious. This was just a giant blob of weld between these two pieces of metal. This has been tacked. It's like angle or something. It's been tacked and cracked the whole way through. This, I, I think there was some kind of filler metal put in here, but this is all just welding blob. And you can see it's cracked. If it wasn't cracked before, it's cracked the whole way since I was hitting it with the hammer. And then this was, uh, I guess, angle, and it was all torch cut. See right there. So my long-term plans for this trailer are to cut, cut and hinge this the whole way down. And uh, you'll see what I want to do with that. But but this, I think I might go ahead and cut these off, and I'm going to try and weld angle in. And this is really heavy angle, so I may just be able to reuse these as a uh, reuse these as ramps. That's the dog. He likes to scoot his frisbee around. What you doing, Bear? What you doing, Bear? He's no help at all. At all.
tailgate on. Um, as you can see, we've got the top hinges. Everything's tacked in place. I need to finish welding all this up. I got the kids screaming for me inside, home with the kids alone. Um, so, this should work. Uh, I haven't decided how I'm going to the bottom yet. These already have holes in them. So I could do two additional spring latches um, straight through these holes. Or I may weld tabs on the bottom to kind of let the tailgate swing off the body just a little bit. I am going to try and mock up those and see what that looks like. So I'm sure you'll see that. All right. All right, guys. Family duty beckons me. So I'll be back in a minute. All right. Here's a shot of what's kind of the finished product here. Just kind of stitch welded it. Uh, stitch welding is something I'm trying to work more on instead of just welding the crap out of everything. Most things don't really need that much weld. And it saves welding wire, which I just ran out of and had to change spools. I'm running out of cutting discs. It's been busy lately. I haven't had time to go get supplies. So the way I want to do this is with these. You can pull these and then you could fold this down like a tailgate. Or you could pull the ones at the bottom and... Um, hinge it up like a regular dump tailgate so you can tailgate materials. I want to do it both ways so I can load the compact tractor in it or whatever, but we'll see how it works out. Um, it has these holes right here. Um, so I could weld another one of these in down here. But I think this is too thick to actually let that hinge um, hinge out here. So what I'm probably going to do is weld a tab on the bottom and weld another uh, latch in right down in here. So that'll be the next project to finish up this tailgate. Maybe get that done tonight. I think I'm going to go ahead and use these. These are the top latches that were on here before. Uh, well, the top, the holes on the trailer that the pins for the tailgate went through. They're just torch cut, but I think they're plenty strong for what they are. That would avoid having to drill big holes. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to cut something up. And these are nice and thick. They're very thick steel. Alright, so the way it is now, um, where those old flanges were too big, and I didn't like grind that up because I thought I was going to cut them off, it hits here, and that keeps this from closing all the way, or I mean from opening all the way, which I don't think is a bad thing. If you look down this line, it's kind of bowed, so it's not going to shut all the way anyway. I'm guessing it's the same on the other side. Yeah, it kind of hits that. So, I mean, if you dump this... With the tailgate hanging straight down, it could it could push up on those pins, I guess. So maybe that's not a bad thing if it keeps it from dumping all the way. That one, when you dump it, it would just push the tailgate up. I may have to play with that some. Um, I may have to play with that some and see if that's how I like it. I'm probably going to take this tailgate off and weld all this stuff up. It's uh, It's welded on two sides, these two sides, but not on this third side. But probably go ahead and hit that weld and then I'm going to call it night.
right guys, so I finished up all the welding on this just to show you how it works. Um, what I wanted to do, I wanted a, a tailgate that could dump like a regular tailgate so you can still load things in and out of here without having to remove the tailgate. But I also want to be able to tailgate material like a real dump truck can. So I'm using those latches like I showed you earlier. So I can, um, I can pop those open, latch them. And then when we dump it, which I'll show you here. It's cold out tonight, so the hydraulics are all cold. And the battery probably needs charged. But you'll see as this goes up, this can hinge out. And then if you have materials in here, you can dump them. I've got some chains I'm gonna run. Um, I'd like to cut these out so I can drop the chains down in there. That would allow me to tailgate it so I could chain it and pull forward and, and drop material out just a little bit at a time. And the other thing I can do with this setup, we drop our bed back down. Is put the bottom latched in. We can uh, we can drop this top part down, and I'm not sure I like it dropping all the way open because when I dump this all the way up, it's going to hit the ground down here because it has these extra uh, uprights on there. But uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, make some. I think if I attach the chain in the middle, I can make a hook here and a hook down low and then cut those pockets out to drop the chain in through like the chain pocket. Those may need cut out or maybe I can use some smaller chain, drop it down in those slots. And then I can choose which way I wanted to do it. And then when the, uh, when the tailgate drops, I can have it set up most of the time to just drop open like this. I have a feeling that's how I'll use it most of the time, but I don't know for sure because I haven't used a dump trailer a whole lot before, other than renting one a couple times, so. But that's, uh, that's the progress that I got done so far. I need to finish doing these chains, but I'm going to get that on the next video. And uh, I'm going to end this with just a short little drone video I made with my new I'm going to go ahead and publish this just to get some updates up there. Once again, thank you guys so much for liking, for sharing, subscribing my videos. I appreciate it so much, each and every one of you. I'm um, looking forward to this being done. shouldn't take too much longer. Uh, I'm going to paint the whole thing with those turbo spray paint cans. I have a couple other little things to do to it. but um, My entire wiring video is completely shot. Uh, the only thing you have to do is edit it. I'm working with a new video editing software i bought adobe um one of the adobe, adobe premiere products and it's a little bit of a learning curve getting used to it i'm used to using like InShot and some more entry level stuff so the adobe level stuff is just taking me a little bit longer to get used to but i'm really happy with everything's coming along i've got a bunch of exciting new projects i just picked up a um a linebox three point hole digger i am going to be uh, probably doing some rehab on that before I use it. I have a skid steer quick attach uh, Meyer snowplow for my John Deere tractor. That's going to need a bunch of work. The previous owner did a bunch of honky stuff to it. I have uh, a bunch of steel that I just picked up for a couple hundred bucks. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna be working with that and try and build a little shed here. I'm going to sink some cement piers into the ground and build the shed off that. So that'll be an entire project I'll be covering for the channel. And I'm really excited about all this stuff, and I'm excited to share it all with you and get all these projects going. So definitely like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.